Provisional explosives. For use in clearing land debris and obstructions. Obstructions in, in sea up to up to fifteen hundred pounds. Extreme caution advised. Gosh. Bet these wouldn't be bad for blowing captive blondes out of blockhouses either. Match, match, I need match. I just need a match. Be in there. Match. Thank you. I am not going to be stopped this time. something that you remember about that night. I don't know. How many times do I have to tell you that I can't? I mean, I, I recognize the music box as being Ronnie's, which means that she's probably in his place in the country. But no, I can't remember where it is. And no, I don't remember any familiar landmarks that are going to lead us to her. So just lay off, will ya? Oh, brother. Excuse me. Oh, it's you again. Look, I'm sorry about last time. It was all a misunderstanding. Yeah, save it, save it. What are you eating? Crow? Call me when you're ready to order. All right, all right. Uh, give me a deluxe burger, fries, and a strawberry shake. Anything else? Yeah, leave that stuff you call coleslaw in the kitchen for the rodents. Right. Can I help you with something, buddy? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I don't have any ketchup at my table. I don't suppose uh, you'd let me have yours. Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I can't sit here much longer. Yeah, I can't say that I blame you. Hey, I'm really sorry that I've been pushing you. I know that you've been telling me the truth. You've been telling me everything that you know. 
You're not telling me everything, Babs? Well, yeah, about that, but there's this other little problem that I've got. Oh, what's that? Well, you're probably wondering why I asked you about Miriam's purse first thing when you showed me that picture. Yeah, I am. Well, it's just that my future kind of depends on getting what's inside of it back. And I ain't talking about a winning lottery ticket either. <laughs> One of those days, huh? It's been one of those years. Guess what happened to me today? Uh, Nancy, I would love to hear about I it, but I've got... visited by this gorilla from the loan company. You know, my loan is due in just a few days. So get an extension. I tried to. He wouldn't listen to me. What am I going to do? How am I going to get $600 in just a couple of days? $600? I thought you said you only borrowed 500. I did. The other 100 was interest. $100 worth of interest in only a couple of months? That's impossible. That's also against the law. Nancy, you didn't. Vicki, look, it was the only place that would give me any money, and I needed it. But if you don't pay it back to them. Yeah, I know, I know. And this guy let me know that he wasn't kidding either. Vicki, I am in real trouble. Well, what are you going to do? What can I do? I'm going to have to pay it back somehow. Nancy, I know before I said that I couldn't, but I do have some money in my savings account that I could lend you. How much? Almost $500. Almost what? On the plus or on the minus? Plus. It's about $507. Oh, good. I'll take it. How am I going to get the rest of it, though? Gosh, I wish you had 600 oh, Wait a minute. I'm your friend, Jean, remember? So don't talk to me in riddles. Look, you remember I told you I put those photocopies of Ronnie's books in a locker in the bus station? Yeah, just before you left my mother's place, you said you're going to put them there for safekeeping. Yeah, right. Well, they're not there. They're not. Babs, you didn't. I did. Oh. How could you do that? Oh, you gee, Jean, you told me to put them in a safe place, and Miriam's purse seemed like the safest place in the world at the time. I don't believe this. Well, how was I supposed to know she was going to get kidnapped that morning? Babs, you could have said something to her. Oh, sure. More than likely now, this friend, Washington, of yours probably has him by now. Not necessarily. Oh, no? No. You see, I, I cut the lining of her purse, and I slipped him in behind that, because that's where I thought they'd be really safe. So you're hanging on to some vain hope that they haven't been found yet, is that it? Oh, I guess I have. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe they haven't been found. <sighs> yeah, sure, and I'm going to be elected Kingsley Citizen of the Year. Perhaps. But this thing isn't over yet. Yes, it is, Jean. I mean, let's face it. We're just waiting for the coroner to come and declare this corpse dead. Oh. Ramona? Ramona! Yeah? Boss, it's Marty. Yeah, what do you want? I got the information you wanted. Okay. Our friend has settled into a pretty regular schedule. 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., Monday through Friday. What about the weekends? She stays holed up in that boarding house. What's the situation over there? It's too busy for the kind of action we want. There must be 20 old women in that place, and they never sleep. It'll have to be at the restaurant, then. That's what I thought. Uh, she walks right out the front door at 8.05. It's completely dark then, and we can just let her have it and drive away. Good work, Marty. Very good. Only don't make any moves on your own. I'm going to send Lance just as soon as I can spare him. Unfortunately, things are a little tight right now. Yeah, I understand. All right, but keep an eye on her. If there's any change in her pattern, I want to know about it. Right. Don't worry, though. I got everything under control. <laughs> Mr. 
Surviving a nuclear attack. It's great, great. That'll come in real handy. Maybe Lance will let me order my new spring wardrobe. Do with one of these explosives, even if I did have something to light them with. Only a big firecracker. What are you doing? I'm going for a walk. What's it look like I'm doing? I'm, I'm exercising. That's it. Hey, hey. Are you all right? Hey, I'm mean, fine. I'm fine. Can't, don't you know that I need to have my blood get circulated a little bit? Here. Here's your lunch. Oh, my lunch. Thank you. I'm so glad you brought me my lunch. Do you know, all morning I've had the strangest desire for oysters. I've been thinking, oh, it all would be so nice to have oysters. Maybe Lance would rate. That's odd. And I was thinking that... I, I suppose I shouldn't really complain about anything. I mean, after all, I, I do have it very good here. Thank you so much for bringing me my lunch. Oysters would be nice, though. Maybe they'll have some oysters in here. Just for me. Wouldn't that be nice? Give me some oysters. I'm not talking about anything flashy, sweetheart. I just want you to give her a few tips. You know, hair, makeup, perfume. You know what I'm talking about. Clothes. No. I don't want to get any ideas. Just give her what she needs. And don't let on when you have plans for her. I don't want her getting greedy on me. Why do I get the feeling I may be grooming my own replacement? Oh, come on, Ramona. You're so suspicious. Get that, will you? Should be Weaver. I'll say one thing for the kid. He's always prompt. Hi. I'm Hi, Russ. You can go on in. Huh? Hello, Weaver. How about a drink? No, thanks. So, <clears throat> how did things go this morning? Fine, fine. Would you mind elaborating a little? Hank Wallace, owed 600, collected 600. Uh, and this, <laughs> his uh, daughter's getting married. I'm ecstatic. So is Hank. Go on. Greg Dawson, owed 250, paid. 86. <laughs> I told you these junkies are nickel and diamonds to death. Yeah. Did you give him a receipt? Yeah. And he uh, won't be using his left arm for a couple weeks either. Good. When are you going to collect the rest? Thursday. All right. When you see him, tell him not to bother asking us for any more ever again. You got it. What else? Uh, what we got? Uh, Tina Cook. Borrowed a thousand, paid back a thousand. I told you you wouldn't have any trouble with her. That's it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If I recall, there was someone else on that list. First timer, uh, you were gonna deliver her a, a little warning. Uh, Lawson, Nancy Lawson, that was her name. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, how'd it go with her? Uh, same, you know, as usual. <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. Tell me. She wanted an extension. And you said? No. I'd like to give her one, though. Why? She's a relative of a friend of mine. What friend? Is it important? You're gonna jerk around with the rules? Of course it's important. Now tell me. She's Larry Martin's aunt. 
Lori Martin, I know that name, don't I? Yeah, she's an old girlfriend of mine. Ah, uh, yes. She was Blue's friend, too, wasn't she? So this would be for love, then, huh? Look, all I'm saying is she's a bad risk, erratic. She's crazy enough to go to the police with this. You want your money back? I'll get it for you. I'll even make sure she doesn't come back to us. Just give me the time to do it in. All right, Weaver, you got it. I've trusted your instincts before. I'll do it again. Thanks. Well, I think I'll have that drink now. Oh, uh, Carla Redlin, right? Yes. Hi, I'm Nancy Lawson. I don't believe we've met formally. No, I don't believe we have. Uh, well, may I come in? I wanted to talk I with you. I really don't. Oh, look, I don't bite. May I please? All right, come in. Oh, this is a lovely place you have here. Uh, did you do it yourself? No, my mother-in-law did. Oh, she must be a decorator, or she should be if she isn't. Miss Lawson, what is this all about? It's Nancy, please. All right, Nancy. Well, actually, I wanted to apologize to you for all the unpleasantness that has happened about my mother's house, and uh, it's just a shame that it's gotten to this level. Well, excuse me, but I was under the impression that you were responsible for a great deal of it. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> Well, I can understand where a lot of that comes from. You, you see, Mother's house really means a great deal to me. And I didn't want just anyone to be in there. And, of course, when Terry finally told me that your family was interested, of course, then I was thrilled. But she waited so long, and by that time, it had already gone into court. If only there was something we could do about it at this stage. Well, I really don't see what or how. Well, I have an idea, actually. Uh, you know I'm half owner of this legal entanglement, and perhaps I could be persuaded to have a word with the judge and have him drop this whole matter, and then you could move right in and everything would be taken care of, right? Persuaded? Sure. I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that. Well, you know, as a sign for your gratitude or me helping you take possession. <laughs> A dollar sign, no doubt. You got it. Uh, how much? Well, I think maybe a thousand dollars ought to take care of it. I could talk with the judge. You know, it would convince me. Miss <laughs> Lawson, I had heard that you had a reputation for gall. Now I believe it. I beg your pardon? The judge is going to rule against you. You're going to have to sell that house anyway. Wait a minute, that's only a possibility. Oh, that's more than a possibility. In which case, all I have to do is simply wait, and I'll save myself the $1,000. Yeah, but you still have the element of chance there. I mean, Hollenbeck only makes a recommendation. The judge has got the final word, you know. Well, I guess I'll just have to trust that he will rule in our favor. Meanwhile, goodbye, Miss Lawson. Now, wait a minute. Don't be so unreasonable. Goodbye, Miss Lawson. Look, I have come to talk My to you My next about... step will be to call the police. Goodbye. I, uh, spoke with your father earlier. Yeah? He's very pleased with the way you're progressing. If I noticed this easy to get his respect, I'd have got into a life of crime long ago. Really? He's a hard man to please. So am I. But you're plugging into things very nicely, Weaver. Faster than I've ever seen anyone do it before. I'm not saying there's a room for improvement. He's still got a long way to go, but, uh, I'm very impressed. I wish that all of my employees had your, uh, Intelligence. Hey, maybe you could send me off to college and I come back with that uh, kind of intelligence in a couple of years. You couldn't get in. Now, now, boys, let's not get all worked up over nothing. That's what I say. He's nothing to get worked up over. Well, I think we ought to have the little prince take off and take his intelligence with him. We can talk a little business, Ron. That's all for today, I guess, Weaver. Take the rest of the day off. You've earned it. Yeah, thanks. Isn't this fun, Lance? Come on, let's have a drink together. No, thanks. Come on, come on, come on. We even got the fixings here for a pink lady. You keep puffing that guy up, we're gonna both be in big trouble. You've already got trouble. You just keep me happy, Lance, and you got nothing to worry about. The house thing's going out at Saddleback. It's fine. Miriam's starting to freak out a little bit, though. What do you mean, freak out? 
freak out. I mean, nervous, you know? She's pacing back and forth and talking to herself. Maybe we should get her a therapist. Look, I'm telling you this. I think you ought to know Mary that. Mary's mental problems are no concern of mine. Just make sure she stays alive and unmolested. Don't start that again, Ron. I don't... It suits me because we have something else to talk about. I got a call from Marty earlier. Babs has been staked out. I'm going to give you a chance to prove just how valuable you are to me, Lance. She waltzed in here just as cute as you please. And as if she was asking for a, a cup of sugar, she said she'd be perfectly willing to be bribed. So what did you do? I wrote her out a check for the entire amount. We move in tomorrow. Carla. What do you think I did? You know, I'm glad I wasn't here. I probably would have bodily thrown that woman out of here myself. Oh, well, fortunately, it didn't come to that. Is what she did illegal? I don't know. Well, it should be. You know, it couldn't hurt to, to tell Harold about all of this. That's a good idea. Why don't you do that? Hmm. But I don't think he's in his office right now. Well, give him a call anyway. And if you get through to him, why don't you invite him to dinner? And maybe he can give us some legal advice of some way we can get around all this. Yeah, call him. 